This short video looks at how to recreate the London Underground symbol using Adobe Fireworks and specifically the vector drawing tools which are in this part of the toolbar. So this is what we're going to attempt to recreate. You could of course do it with the correct colours of blue and red but I'm just going to do this monochrome design in this example. So to start with I'll create a new document and I'm going to choose a size of 640 pixels wide and 480 pixels high which is a standard size for working. You can always make it bigger or smaller. Um, so we'll start with the rectangle I think. So we'll get the rectangle tool and I'll draw a rectangle first change the colour and properties afterwards. So once you've drawn a rectangle the properties panel at the bottom allows you to change what it looks like and quite clearly I need to pick black because that's what I'm trying to do, the monochrome colour. And if you'd like to move it, you can click on the pointer tool and drag it around the screen. And I think that's probably about right, but it might be a bit too tall. We'll change that in a minute. So now I need a circle. So I'm going to have to hold my mouse down on the rectangle tool and choose instead the ellipse tool. And then if I hold down the shift key on the keyboard, I can make sure that the circle I draw is in fact a perfect circle. And I'll use the pointer tool to kind of put it in the right place. And you can see the dotted red line there, suggesting that it's all lined up with the rectangle. Now I'm going to do something different here. I'm actually going to turn off the paint bucket fill color by clicking on the transparent button. It's the white square with a red line through it. And now it's an invisible circle, so I'm going to put a black stroke, that's like the pen line around the edge. And I'm going to make it thicker, so now go up to about 40 or 50, see if that looks okay. There we go, and that's, that's okay, so all I'm going to do is uh, click back onto my rectangle, use the scale tool just to drag these edges out. There you go, that looks more like it. You can use the scale tool to move things as well as the pointer tool. And the finishing touch then is to put the writing across the middle. So I'll grab the text tool, click somewhere on top of this rectangle, type underground. You can always type the name of a particular station. Use the pointer tool to drag that into position. And obviously this writing is the wrong font and the wrong color. And actually, Windows does come with the correct font for this. If I type the letter G on the keyboard, I scroll down to the fonts beginning with G. And Gil Sans, a sans serif font uh, created by a designer called Eric Gill, is the right font. And then I can change the color for white to go with my monochrome, monochrome idea. And that possibly a bit big. So I'll just change the font size. There we go, and that's how to make the underground logo.